Just this week, Divan Clegg revealed Drusilla's Bell's palsy diagnosis to worried fans. Then Jihoon made his own plea for attention, interrupting his Halloween costume pics with a plea for sympathy. Jihoon Lee obviously enjoyed his Halloween, a cultural tradition that is not widely celebrated in South Korea, even when there is not a pandemic. More likely, fans speculate that Jihoon put on a simple costume and elaborate makeup to be Edward Scissor's hands for the benefit of his fans. After all, most 90 DFNC viewers and fans are Americans, and Halloween is quintessentially American. Jihoon posted photo after photo, both this week in such close proximity to Divin's grim reveal about Drusilla's diagnosis that many fans raised their eyebrows, Jihoon made a different post. He shared this pic of his mother with his son Young. This is of course a throwback pic. It's clearly from this year, as you can see that Jihoon's mother is wearing a mask, meaning that COVID-19 had already hit Korea. But this dates to before Divin took her children and fled home to Utah after a scary life-changing night. When can I see you again? Jihoon captures the photo. This caption appears to have elicited a lot of sympathy from some fans who have told him to not give up. However, it has also robbed others the wrong way, looking like a calculated ploy for pity from a man who cares more about fan opinions than actually doing anything. Insta. A dad would be on a phone and booking a ticket, one commenter accused. That same commenter continued. Figure it out, Instagram isn't going to give you an answer. The last part seemed to be the key point to a lot of criticism. Why is he making performative posts like this? It is not Devin's responsibility to get her to Korea to see his father, another noted. The commenter added, It is the father's responsibility to pay for an airfare and get on a plane to see his son. That criticism concluded, If his country won't let him, that isn't Devin's fault. Stop waving your dirty laundry all over Instagram, another follower demanded. If you want to see your kids, you have to make it happen. And even if he cannot, a lot of people bristle when they realize that someone is trying to play with their emotions to seem more likable. Jihoon did reply, showing off the childish demeanor that his friends have observed. I humbly accept both criticism and support, Jihoon said. But baseless criticism will make you bald with my scissor hand. He then suggested that fans watch quietly and shared that he has been saving money and growing. Of course, that's what he told Divin in order to lure her to pack up her life and move to Korea in the first place. That time, of course, he was lying, telling her that he had saved more because he was impatient to see her even though he couldn't support her. Whether he's telling the truth now or just making a believable sounding excuse is, well, a matter of some debate among fans. As you may recall, according to Divin, Jihoon attacked Drusilla late one night, hitting her and ripping out chunks of her hair. Divin awoke, heard the scream and called the police. She says that Jihoon locked himself and Young in a room and threatened to take his son's life and his own. After that, Divin took her children and fled to safety in Utah. Drusilla is now in therapy to recover from a horrific trauma, and Divin is said to have a great deal of evidence. Divin also says that Jihoon tried to hack her into her iCloud in order to delete photos and videos evidence of Drusilla's injuries. Meanwhile, Drusilla has now developed Bell's palsy, which resembles a paralysis of half of the face. Though uncommon in her children's age, the condition is usually a temporary one. That sweet little girl has had a very rough year, and we will all continue to keep her in our thoughts. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.